Two men face charges in connection with a major nationwide fraud scheme. Gwinnett County Police say Crooks scammed at least eight companies out of more than $440,000. Police say they caught one of the suspects red-handed. Fox has Christopher King is in Lawrenceville where that guy tried to strike. Police say Winston Dugan tried to cash a check here at this bank. Problem is, it was bogus. Police caught him in the act. We have video of that confrontation. Call from the bank. Gwinnett County police confront a man they say is trying to cash a bogus check with fake ID. They said the documents that you provide. I need to get out of here, sir. Is no, you're fine. Fraud. The man appears to act innocent. Where are those documents? Um, I don't have Police say back in October 2022, this man tried to cash the check at Fifth Third Bank on Lawrenceville, Sewanee Road in Lawrenceville. Let me see the ID. Police are not buying his story. You know this is no good, right? Oh, you know it's no good, sir. I can feel it. I can look at it. Officers arrested Winston Dugan and confiscated his cell phone. That's when they discovered that he had multiple uh, bank accounts, fraudulent bank accounts. Investigators say they linked Dugan to even bigger crimes. Looking at over $400,000 in fraud. Police say Dugan would target companies around the nation, sending emails posing as a vendor. The email prompts them to either change or add some banking information thus compromising their emails and their banking information information so these uh thieves are able to then log in and submit invoices to uh, customers of that business that customer thought they were paying a legitimate business funds are intercepted by the crooks and uh, wired to a different banking account police tell fox 5 dugan stole financial information from eight companies in several states from california to texas to Florida. The one case for over $190,000. Investigators say in the summer of 2022, an unwitting employee of a company in Illinois thought she was sending money to a vendor. Those funds never went to that supplier. It actually went to the suspect's uh, bank account. Police say Dugan that same summer sent a $133,000 check to Mikhail Kais, both men indicted this week. He was obviously involved in some, in some aspect of it. Uh, he might also be involved in other cases. Dugan is charged with theft, identity fraud, and forgery. Kais with theft. Police say always make sure your email comes from a legitimate source. Also, directly contact the bank or the place you're doing business with. In Lawrenceville, Christopher King, Fox 5 News.